This is Project 365. This is Project 365. I'm Peyton Geary, and this is... Uh, <clears throat> Corey Gimlin, and I'm an actor. Now, um, how did it all start for you, Corey? How did it all start? Yeah, how did it all start for you? Um, well, well, my friend, she was always in acting, and she, uh, she always wanted to do something with me because I was always in sports. I was actually never in <clears throat> anything acting based, so I was always in sports, and then I just hit my shoulder. And uh, my friend was like, hey, since you're not doing anything, you want to just uh, come audition for a show down at Spotlight Youth Theater? So I was like, yeah, sure. And uh, that's how it all began. Really? What show was it? It was uh, Disney on Review. It was two years ago, 2008. Yeah. Um, favorite show you've ever been in? Favorite show I've ever been in? Best show you've ever been in. <clears throat> had to be... 13 the musical. <coughs> 13 the musical was so fun. I, I I got a lot of friends because I was it was it was kind of a weird show because uh, 13 the musical. Not a lot of people have heard of it. It's um, a cast of 13 year olds and I'm 16, so it was definitely kind of a stretch. And so I um, I was asked and I got in and I ended up having a blast. All of the people that were in the cast were amazing, phenomenal. It was just a great show. Um, favorite show of all time? Favorite show of someone else's? Favorite show of all time? Yes. Broadway. Broadway. Like uh, uh, just anything. Like uh, that I've seen. That or you've seen at off Broadway, Broadway. It's heard on the. Heard okay. On the, yeah, um, I'm going to have to say, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Because the Rocky, I just love the music and how strange it is. It's just an amazing show. And Tim Curry's in it. And Tim Curry's in it. And so is Plus. Yeah. Craziest uh, <coughs> show, or uh, craziest um, production process in, in all. I'm going to have to put Anne Frank in that. Because, because that was the craziest tech week I think I've ever had in out of any other show I've ever done because everyone in the cast was so tight during the rehearsal process like we were just goofing around and I'm pretty sure we came out of that thing with like 13 different inside jokes we had so many inside jokes it was just such a great cast and then Tech Week came BAM we needed to crack down and it kind of was the craziest Tech Week of my life what is your day to day inspiration like just what gets you up in the morning and say, makes you say, I want to act today? I, I would really have to say my friends. I, uh, because back when I did sports, I used to be, I, I don't want to like, put this out there, but I actually used to be kind of popular. And uh, it was, it's kind of like in high school, if you don't do sports, then you're nothing. You, you basically aren't as high up in the social scale as you would be. So... <clears throat> Yeah, the, uh, if I didn't have my close group of theater friends, then I don't think I would be <clears throat> even getting up in the morning. Uh, who would you most? Who would you be most uh, nervous to perform in front of? To perform in front of, I would. I'm going to have to say Mr. Akers, my old teacher, and um, probably. Sean Quinn and Mark Foreman. Like the, you're oh, gonna man. have to. You're gonna have to this. <laughs> I, I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. And um, yeah. But. Would you rather play? Uh, and this you've done both of this thousand times. Would you rather play the the main protagonist or the main antagonist? Um. Well, I did every show in the um every show last year, 2008, the Spotlight Youth Theater. I, I I did every show in that season, and um. For each and every one of those shows, I was always typecasted as the romantic lead. And, but this season, I've actually been typecasted as the jerk, the guy that just three beats times, everybody. Right? Three times in a row, Gaston, Brett, and um, uh, Gaston, Brett, and now Chuck. So, and I'm, I, I have to tell you, I'm having a lot more fun playing the antagonist than... Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It, it, it actually is really fun. Uh, yes. Yeah. Last and uh, certainly not least, uh, cliche. What is 
what do you love most about performing? About performing? Mm-hmm. Such a broad question. Um, it's very broad, very cliche. I know, but yeah. Well, well, the thing that I love about performing is I really like wowing people. I really, truly like wowing people, and that, that's not necessarily like on a me factor. It's more on a show factor. Like I like right after bows, you know, everyone comes off the stage and everyone's all excited, like about to meet their family or anything. And I just like walking back out and looking at everyone and having their face be like, that was such a good show. Like, yeah. well, thank you very much, Corey Gillen. <clears throat> no, no problem, man. No good problem. to have you, man. Uh, Don't even worry about it. You know, we'll have you back sometime. And you'll, you'll be performing for us. I I, I, I'll try. All right. Okay.